Monday morning. The Winston Show, the Winston Show, the Winston Show, the Winston Show, Winston Show, the Winston Show. Rise and shine. It's time to be awake. It's Monday morning. Week five. Last week I was... I didn't feel good for most of last week. This weekend, I had a fun weekend on the town. I weighed in this morning at 324 pounds. Which isn't great. I want to be under 320. I'm just back at it though this week. I won't eat like an animal probably this upcoming weekend. And hopefully all week I'll do three a days. The weather shouldn't be as bad as it was last week. So I should do good. I ate last night cauliflower pizza for dinner. For lunch though, I had the new double Big Mac from McDonald's. It was terrible. It fell apart. It was too tall to fit in your mouth well. And then while I was eating it, the bread fell apart. It just wasn't good. <laughs> you know, I, in my head I saw double Big Mac. I was like, this, this is what dreams are made out of. And instead, I got a crumbly mess of a sandwich that I literally had to eat like out of the box, like a trough, like an animal. For that, well, that was my breakfast, I guess, for the day. And then last night, I ate six slices, not last night, the night before, I ate six slices of mellow mushroom, medium mellow mushroom pizza. That's probably not good. That wasn't great. They like undercooked it or it just wasn't the greatest pizza in the world. Pretty disappointing. And then before that, we ate a burger from room service at the W Hotel. That was objectively terrible. <laughs> it was, uh, the bun I think was not done, not done. Um, the bun was stale and I had bread so long I thought it was good. And then I was like, you know, I know this isn't actually that good, but I'm still eating it. Molly was like, this is awful. <laughs> Two hamburgers and fries. No drink, $71. <laughs> Stupid money. Oh, goodness. And now I'm on the treadmill this morning. I'm going to do 15 treadmill. See where I'm feeling. Might do 10, 15 on the elliptical. I've got time. It's only 7.15 right now, and I'm already four minutes in. So i got time. I want to push it a little bit this week. I got to be easier on my feet, though. The feet have been sore. But got to push it. I lately have been doing this exercise at work. It's with a roll of glitter material, which is our heaviest material. It weighs about 21 pounds. And I've been just doing these sort of, uh, I don't know, curl presses things. I've <laughs> been doing sets of 20. Uh, and I've been getting about five to six sets off throughout a day in between sending prints and all stuff off. It's, you know, just something to exercise while I'm at work to get the blood moving. It gets kind of hard near the end, especially near the end of the day when you're done like five, six sets. <laughs> Having a factor meal. It is 1.40. I am starving. I kind of messed up my eating schedule. This weekend eating all over the place. Had black coffee. And now I'm about to eat this factory meal. Walk in. It's lunch. Time walk. Monday. It's going all right. It's good as I guess it can go. Feet don't hurt too bad. It's a little chilly, but it's not horrible. And the direct sun is better than the shade. It's a little, a little cold. My legs are cold. I ate a factor meal for lunch. It was all right, but I was starving. Starving about an hour later. Or almost two hours after I ate it, I was starving. So... I caved and went up to the taco place, little taco shack. I haven't been there all January. 
and I ate a quesadilla and two tacos. It was really, really good. I feel incredibly full now. So tonight for dinner, I have to go pretty easy, I guess, on the eating. Eat something not heavy or not eat even dinner at all. We'll see how I feel tonight. It's a moment of weakness. Especially after this weekend where I went ham and ate pretty crazy. Luckily, I didn't gain too much weight, but it's crazy. I was watching the, my videos. I, the first two weeks have been posted now online. I was re-watching the week one and week two. I lost a lot more weight in those first two weeks. I also cheated a lot more. I also think I'm gaining a lot more muscle weight. Physically getting stronger and overall healthier. It's an interesting combo. Happy that I'm making these changes though. I think they're turning out good. I'm weirdly starting to like crave exercise. That's strange. Another thing I've been doing is I work, I print, but in between prints while the like, printer's going, sometimes there's a lot of just time of, you know, waiting around on the printer. So I've started lifting weights. I don't have real weights, but I have rolls of material. I've been lifting rolls of material. I weighed them out. I found like a 25 pound one, a 30 pound one. <laughs> and I've been doing exercises. And I th thought, why not? Utilize the time wisely. So I've been doing those a lot lately. I can do about 20, a set of 20 in one minute. So if I have, you know, two, three minutes, not really enough time to get too much done graphic design wise, but plenty of time to knock out a set if I want to. So I've done so far a hundred of this exercise today. My goal is to do 160 today, because on Friday I did 140. So yeah, that's my new exercise thing I'm working on. I think it's pretty fun to do. Yeah, I ate like an animal. Once again, my stomach bloats out. So before I ate, like a Friday, before I ate crazy all weekend, I uh, noticed my stomach was looking as flat as a as it could look. Like it, but then, especially Saturday night, my, after I ate pizza, my God, my stomach was so round and protruding. It was crazy looking. Very interesting how the bread affected me that way. Very interesting. Maybe it's gluten. Maybe I'm gluten intolerant. Interesting thing with the bread stuff. It says you feel significantly fuller with it. Like I can eat a whole steak and not feel that full. But with the bread makes you feel so much more full. This guy, there's no nothing about this guy. This guy's to me trying seems to seems trustworthy. No, at all, he's bro. not. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He's You're right. He's selling something. Off work. I'm so tired for some reason, but I'm off work. Yesterday I didn't do anything in the morning. It's Wednesday morning. Yesterday I did nothing. I just I didn't feel good yesterday. I was very tired. Skip morning workout because I was sleepy. I didn't sleep well the night before. Came home, uh, didn't do my lunch workout. And then I came home and I didn't work out. So yesterday was my rest day. Today is going to be my workout day. So I'm up, it's Wednesday morning, I'm on the treadmill, I'm walking, <sighs> don't want to do it, but you need to do it. Yesterday I didn't eat too crazy, a little bit, yesterday morning I ate the biscuit craving, I, despite the cravings, have stayed away from biscuits the whole entire, since I've started this. Well, that ended yesterday, yesterday morning I went by Bojangles. And I got me a chicken biscuit and a, normally my meal at Mojangles was a chicken biscuit and then a sausage or a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. 
and then I would take that bacon, egg, and cheese, put it on the chicken biscuit, and then eat that just biscuit with jelly, and then eat the chicken, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit as one big thing. Delicious. Apparently, yesterday they stopped doing the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits, or they ran out or something. So I ended up with a sausage biscuit and a chicken biscuit. And I haven't ate that Bojangles in a while. Let me tell you, it was so dang salty. Incredibly salty. Like, every bite was just crazy salty. So, it's funny. When I give in to these cravings and I end up eating what I've been craving, most of the time lately I've been crazy disappointed. Like, it just doesn't even hit as what I wanted it to be. You know, in my head I'm like, this is going to be amazing. I tried and I'm just like, this is very disappointing. So sometimes I think it's okay to give myself those times where I'm like give in and cheat as long as I don't do it every day and if I can go back and recognize hey that wasn't good for me that wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be that could have been way better I think if I keep those thoughts that's a really good thing and will help a lot positives I'm noticing and others, my man boobs seem to be going down quite a bit. So that's fantastic. All right, we're three minutes in, about 15 at least. It's early this morning, it's like six something, or no, it's right at seven when I started. Woke up at 6.30, yeah. So I want, my goal is 15. I'm going to try to do 20 if I feel like I, I got time to do up to 30. So we'll see how I feel. Good check-in. Let's hope I walk at lunch. <laughs> Just did 20 minutes. Whew. Now go and get ready to work and uh, head to work. Hey, it's Wednesday afternoon lunchtime walk. I am a walking. My ears are real cold today. Whew. Uh, uh. So, excuse me. <laughs> it's about what time is it? Three seventeen. Got out here about three fifteen. Walking for about thirty minutes or so. I uh, normally Wednesdays are my rest day, but I did not feel good yesterday. I was very tired, so been doing this thing where part of this health journey I am being very conscious and listening to my body and if I feel tired if I don't feel good I'm not pushing myself too hard on those days so I rested I went to bed early yesterday and I feel much better today so I'm working out today it's the trade-offs trying to you know mix it up do one or the other and see how I feel I actually wanted to work out today that's the crazy thing yes I didn't at all but today I actually felt a want to come out here and I haven't eaten anything today I'm not starving I did have a big dinner last night I have one of those factor meals to break my fast for lunch today I have got that probably about four ish And then tonight when I get home, I'm going to do heavy leg day. Work's been kind of fun today, <laughs> as fun as work can be. Bosses aren't there, which my bosses aren't terrible, but when they're not, when they're not around, we seem to get a lot more done and it seems to be a lot less chaotic. <laughs> Sunlight's beautiful today, it feels great. It feels nice and warm. It's just the wind is nasty cold and my ears are freezing. But I'm noticing man boobs way down and the arms are starting to get some definition to them. So that's nice. Last night I ate a muffin. I shouldn't have ate a muffin. But I had the sweet tooth craving. And I had the calories to spare. So I ate the muffin. I feel no shame about eating the muffin, really. It's okay to eat the muffin. 100% okay. It was a pistachio muffin with dark chocolate pieces on it. That's not bad, not bad at all. 
just about finishing my first lap. Let's do three more at least. It's 5 p.m. I just put my meal in the microwave to break my fast. I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. Stick, 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 stick. Hot sauce. Just got out of the sauna. I thought I'd go take a shower. Good day of exercise. No, oh, up the stairs. Ugh, I skipped legs this morning. I'm doing my morning workout. I was in the bathroom longer than I meant to be. And if I was to do 15 minutes, I'd be late for work. So I guess that means 15 extra minutes during my lunch walk. And I forgot my lunch downstairs. It is, is today Wednesday or Thursday? Today, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to get healthy. Going at it. My legs are kind of sore from the leg day I did last night. But not too bad. I'm moving. Did some minor arms. Did my work exercise that I do. I'm walking. I had uh, the Middle Eastern salad place, Azoria, for lunch. I had a salad. It was pretty all right. It had chicken on it. It was a little bit light on the feta, but like I said, I don't need to eat too much cheese. I ate it really fast. I was really hungry at, at the moment, and then I had some stomach discomfort after eating it so fast. I'd really like to say by the end of this week, which would be really the end of the first month, that was under 320. I'm like right at the edge. This morning I weighed in at like 321 or something. And I'd really like to hit under 320 for the month. I've hit under it a couple times, but gained it back on the weekend. <laughs> So I gotta, I'm trying to time ship this weekend. Uh, only thing bad I plan for sure eating is I promised to take my girlfriend out to Waffle House. But I think I wanna try to make it as protein and diet centric as I can. I could probably eat some eggs and just and some bacon and sausage or something and skip the hash browns are the whole point i don't eat the waffles but i do love the hash brown maybe just one thing of hash browns it's just potatoes they ain't horrible tomorrow for lunch probably going to have i really been craving shrimp so i think i'm going to go to the asian buffet tomorrow and pig out on some shrimp i love shrimp one is shrimp today. The Middle Eastern restaurant offers now shrimps for a salad, but when I asked, the guy went, no, not today. So, you know, maybe soon. All right, in the gym, about a workout. So this morning, I didn't walk, so I need to make up for that by doing 15 minutes of cardio. And then for lunch, I normally do 30, but today I got cut off, got busy, and only could do 15, so... That means I need to do a total of 30 minutes of cardio this evening, and I need to do arms. So they say, though, it's best to do your lifting before you do your cardio, so you have more energy for the lifting. I'm trying to build muscle, so we're going to start on arms. <sighs> I don't want to work out at all. It's not fun at all <laughs> i just want to oh, i just want to lay on the couch oh. okay 15 minutes of lifting at least we're, we're going to go through my routine last time it took only 12 minutes so and then 30 minutes of probably split it half of a good old elliptical and half of a good old treadmill 
I don't want to do this. All right, let's go. All right, here's today's. We're doing overhead 35 plus 10. So, got 80 pounds on here, 90 pounds on here, so that's 80 there. I might pop that to 90. I never said working out is fun as a liar. You're all liars. Working, working out is not fun at all. And not that fun. Uh, about this. <sighs> Walking on the treadmill. Walking at a pretty steep incline. Only about one minute in, so I just really started. Oh, uh, at least 15 more to go. I'm in the sauna. It's 134 degrees. And I'm getting hot. It's February 1st. Thursday evening. Tomorrow's Friday. This will be a good day. I'd like a steak and kale thing for dinner. It was alright. And I had a protein cookie, just a mango. That was really good, actually. And um, now I'm sweating out for 25 minutes. I'll see you later. We're going to do some VR boxing, y'all. It's a great exercise. And uh, that's what we're going to do for this morning. You know, get a little VR boxing going. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day out. And uh, I'm on my lunch walk. It is. 235. I'm gonna walk till about at least three. Maybe a little longer. It's really nice out, so I'm taking it in as much as I can. It is beautiful, especially for the last few weeks. This is my kind of weather. Not cold, not hot. Sun is shining, nice vitamin D. It is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely out. Ooh, that sunshine feels good. Whew. I ate barbecue for lunch. I was originally planning on going get Chinese food <laughs> and uh, eating some shrimp and broccoli and beef. But the barbecue man decided to park out front of the office today in his sweet smoke. I could smell it. And it sucked me in. So I ate the sweet barbecue from the barbecue man. I ate three pork loin things and then some brisket and he had some cabbage. Feeling pretty good about it. Don't feel as heavy last time I ate it. Kind of messed me up, but I don't know if it was also me hitting keto at the same time. So we'll find out. So far I'm feeling all right. It is Saturday morning. That means it's time for the gauntlet of death. 30 minutes elliptical, 30 minutes treadmill. Let's get our sweat on. Hello. This is another near daily reminder that working out is miserable, sucks, and I hate every moment of it. I'm about to hit 20 minutes of the stupid elliptical and it is miserable every second. Hate it, hate it, hate it.